today we have a very tiny subwoofer over here and this looks like a Sundown Audio clone. Now for anybody who does not know, Sundown Audio makes some of the nicest car audio equipment when it comes to subwoofers. A bunch of people have been sending me this sub over here because it looks very, very similar to a popular Sundown subwoofer. But this is a uh, Chinese Amazon sub, so should be interesting. <laughs> This is, of course, by WLLDSE Audio. Wildesy, Wilds, I don't even know how you say it. Doesn't really matter. This is a 3,600 watt peak monetary power to ohm car subwoofer black. Wow, guys. Okay, first thing you'll notice, of course, made in China, which honestly, to an extent, most subs are, so not really a huge deal. But what you will notice when you see one of these uh, tags on here. This is Amazon FBA. Basically what this means, this is a company that is making these subs in China and they are going straight to Amazon to be sold. They're not coming to the U.S. going through any kind of quality quality uh, control through an American company or anything like that. These are just straight from China to Amazon subs. Now back in the day before I was doing the YouTube stuff, I used to sell stuff on Amazon and what you would do guys, you'd go to a place like Alibaba, you would order stuff in bulk, they would package it, they'd stick your logo on it, they ship it straight to Amazon, and then you sell it right through there, without really having to even look at it. Now, I wasn't doing anything audio related, I was just doing little small trinkets and stuff that you didn't really need to be anything specific or great. Now, most companies, they at least ship them here, they have nice boxes, you know, they're gonna say made in China, of course, but they're normally not just direct straight to Amazon subs, so should be interesting to see what this guy has. Okay, this is double boxed, so hey, at least that is good. Real quick, guys, if you want really nice subs that are big, beefy, and if you want, can take some extreme power for an extended amount of time, then you are not going to want to go with this fella right here. You are going to want to go with a Def Bond subwoofer, and of course, Alfred Audio is the sponsor of today's video, so super quick word from them guys, then we'll get back to the video. Alright guys, I love the kid a lot, but I wanted to take this time out to announce that I have got a big project coming up soon with Defbonts. Gonna really be putting them to the test to see what their stuff can do, along with eight cheap subs to test out, and then eight big beefy subs to really test out for my Sundown Audio Show build, so cannot wait to show y'all that here soon. Here's the thing guys, for the Sundown Audio Show, I am going to be demoing for hours of course, assuming everything goes well. Now, there's a lot of things that could go wrong, but what you really definitely don't want to go wrong is you don't want a sub to blow, you don't want an amp to blow. Now, I have not really had much experience with Death Bonds amps, just a little bit, so I'm excited to be trying one. But y'all, I know that their subs are awesome and they take the power. Super excited to one, be doing my biggest build ever on the channel and two, to be running their equipment so we can just see what it really can take in the real world. Here is the sub, guys. Take a look at it. Now, I was able to grab this guy for 150 bucks on Amazon for the 15 inch version. Y'all, that is really pretty cheap at least for what this thing looks like. Now, this guy is 1200 watts RMS, 3600 peak. The FS is around 30 hertz, and the sensitivity is around 86 dB. Claims to have a three inch high temperature copper voice coil, and it weighs about 43 pounds. Now at first glance, it actually doesn't look uh, terribly awful. We have a big mega roll surround. We have a, not the stiffest in the world, but a pretty stiff, uh, paper cone. We of course have the red stitching. 
And you will notice it's not perfect. You know, they probably did it with some machine. But anyway, I have a rubber gasket. We do have what looks to be a cast aluminum frame. And of course, this is the same frame that you would see on the Sundown U-Series sub. We have the really big, like, six-gauge push terminals on this thing. They are actually quite beefy. Pretty surprised to see that. And we do have the big, flat tinsel leads that are sewed into the spider over here. And y'all, this sub is actually really, really stiff. Moving on to the bottom, we do have a double-stack motor. It is a decent size, bigger than I uh, expected it to be. Now, of course, you gotta remember, this is a 15-inch sub, so... You know, on video, it's not going to look as big to the stuff that I normally do with 12-inch subs. Regardless, guys, it is actually decently beefier than what I expected. Looking in here, I do have a little bit of glue on top of these. With a lot of cheaper subs that you'll see, they won't do that. Another nice thing is that this does have a ring that is bolted down that holds the spider down. Again, that's another thing. Um, a lot. That's actually, that is a really nice feature. A lot of subs don't have that. There's a good deal of glue around where the spider connects to the cone. We have a regular copper colored looking voice coil with the clear glue on it. So it does not have the black and a real high temp glue, but is what it is. And then interesting over here, we do have venting around the coil, but there's no center venting, which is something you would normally see on a sub. So that is interesting, but we'll see how it does. We have a very stiff dust cap as well. Overall interesting. Now guys, like I said, this sub very, very closely resembles the Sundown U series sub. I've heard a bunch of those subs. Those subs are really pretty great subs if that's what you're looking for. That being said, they're a lot more expensive. Right now, Down for Sound has them on sale for under $300. That's a really good deal from what I've seen. Of course, there'll be a link in the description below if you wanna check that out. Other places have them too. I checked Big Jeff Audio, but it looked like at the moment he was sold out. But maybe you'll have him back in stock here before too long too. Regardless, guys, this sub, of course, has the exact same frame. Kind of a similar looking motor. I'm going to guess this guy is probably smaller, but I don't have ones side by side to test out. Now, if this video does really, really well, and if you would really like me to get one of these Sundown U subs and do a direct comparison to the two, uh, let me know in the comments, and of course, just help out this video by liking and sharing it. That all really, really helps. All right, guys, time to test out this sub. This will the the C will 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 this this the C will it sub should be interesting. I do gotta say, when I saw this thing on on Amazon, my hopes were not very high. For 150 bucks, I figured it would feel really cheap. I figured the motor would be a lot smaller. Then they made it look in the pictures and all that stuff. But I do gotta say, from looking at it, we do have the really big, nice terminals. We have nice looking tinsel leads. It's actually pretty heavy. It has a bigger motor than I thought it would. It does look like it has a three inch voice coil. It has tons of glue. It has the ring to hold down the spider. So, so far, so good. I actually don't have too much I can poke fun at this thing for yet. But you never know, guys. What really counts is how does this thing do, putting some abuse to it, so. We're gonna load it up into the truck and really see what it can do. Then you're running this Apocalypse 270 series in here, so let's pop this thing out, get the little Chinese clone in there and see what it can do.
far I'm putting in some work. Definitely can't smell it though, but hey, it is what it is. All right, we're gonna play my super low excursion song. Gonna do it on the slow-mo so y'all can see how much this guy moves. All right, fellas, time for the DB test. We got 35 hertz, let's get it. Moving there. Oh, look at that though, 139.4, 3,391 watts. Let's try 40 hertz. 137.2, 3,512 watts. Let's try 45 hertz. 136.2, 4,545 watts. All right, almost getting up to a 140, not quite. Not a terrible score for $150 sub, but of course, would love to see better. I will say this truck definitely not set up for SPL whatsoever. If I face the box to the back, hey, that might really help. I'm sure there's things I could do, but all the tests I do with this box, I have the sub facing up, so keeping it like that for testing purposes. Anyway, again, did okay, but... Definitely seems to do a lot better musically, actually doesn't sound that bad, and takes some pretty decent power, seems to do well. Definitely smelled it some, but no real issues, so I guess. Next up, guys, let's do a RMS test. Now, this sub is rated uh, 1,200 watts RMS. So we're going to do the most extreme test that you can do to one of these things. That is, of course, running a just straight 40 hertz test tone through it. We're going to do it free aired, see if it'll make it through like two or three minutes. That's normally when most subs that I've tested seem to blow. So let's do that, see what happens, and uh, knock on some wood. Hopefully we don't blow an amp. All right, we have the sub hooked up, ready to go. We've got this guy set to real-time power, so we'll be able to turn it up, keep an eye on it, keep it about that uh, 1,200 watts, see how long this thing takes it. Anyway, there it is. Made it through three minutes. Now, we started out at 1,200 watts. Of course, as the ohms rose, uh, the power did decrease to about 1,000 watts. But still, honestly, guys, I didn't think it was going to make it. It was smelling pretty strong. And, guys, it just uh, just running these things free-aired like that at that much power just never sounds good. Anyway, guys, but still, it made it through the little cheap knockoff Amazon sub actually doing surprisingly well. There you have it. Now, I will say it's actually doesn't feel as hot as I kind of figured that it would. The back plate on this motor has got some pretty good warmth to it, but I feel a little bit of warmth on the dust cap, but I've definitely had other subs uh, get hotter. So what do you guys think? Now, for people newer to the channel, most subs that I do this test to blow before three minutes, normally somewhere between like 230 to 245, kind of when these things normally blow. So the fact that it made it through three minutes pretty good guys better than i thought it would now i'm sure most i'm sure a lot of y'all know who have watched my videos i've done this exact same test to a bunch of def bond speakers they all make it through five minutes no problem and i've done it to some sundown speakers as well they also made it through five minutes but of course y'all those are top tier brands so i expect them to uh you know hold up that long aka why i run those extreme tests on them for all the guys that are not such top tier brands i normally shoot for three minutes and honestly, guys, most of them don't make it. So I am surprised that this little guy did what it did. Okay, guys, well, for 150 bucks, really not bad at all. Did a lot better than I thought it would. And guys, subs have got so expensive these days. Remember back in the day, you could get a pretty decent sub for 150 bucks. Not so much today. Personally, I'd say I should the sub, again, a lot better than I thought it was. Really did pretty decent. So I can't say 
I definitely can't say that I wouldn't get it. That being said, personally, I would spend a few extra bucks, get something like an American Base Elite 15. I think they are a little more now, though. They might be close to 200 now, but if you can find them for close to that 150, that is personally what I would do. But hey, if you want to grab this sub, guys, I don't think it'll let you down, at least not in the short run. Hard to say how well it'll do in the long run, but I've had no issues with it uh, the past week that I've been here using it and testing it out. Anyway, guys, of course, will be a link to that in the description below. Go check it out if you want to grab one, guys. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And guys, if you want me to do a direct comparison of that with the Sundown U-Series sub, let me know. Maybe I'll pick one up. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Remember, as always, guys, keep basing on.